Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, assisted by DOH Secretary Francisco T. Duca III, Vaccine Sar, Carlito Galvez Jr., Chinese Ambassador His Excellency Huang Silian, and Senator Christopher Bongo are now walking towards the aircraft to inspect the crates containing doses of COVID vaccine. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all witness the affixing of the Res Bakuna sticker on the crates. A warm round of applause. May we invite the President, together with the Tarmac Party, to turn around for a photo opportunity with the vaccine crates. And I feel good. It's a big boost for us. I feel relieved. Kada natin inantay to, so why hesitate now? I feel very happy that we can finally start to put an end to this pandemic. Res bakuna kasangga ng bida. Sama-sama tayo sa bida vaccination. May we invite the president? for the presentation of a CoronaVac vaccine vial.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We are very honored to have you lead us in witnessing the arrival of the COVID vaccines in our country. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Thank you very much. Once again, the President of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. May tanong po si Joseph Morong ng GMA News regarding daw po dun sa 400,000 na paano ang distribution or allocation and when will uh, when will uh, we see vaccination only the 400,000 Sinovac or also the 1 million Sinovac arriving? Well, uh, uh, sa lalo mabilis na panahon po, didi-distribute na yan ng uh, yung iba pang mga health workers po natin ay uh, magkaroon na ng kanilang bakuna, no? Um, karamihan pa rin po dyan ng 400,000 ay uh, uh, linalaan natin sa NCR Plus, no? Hindi lang na sa NCR, kasama po yung Bulacan, Laguna, Cavite, no? At uh, yung, uh, yung pagbabakuna po ay tuloy-tuloy naman po yan, no? Kasi nga po, maraming lugar na na nauusan na ng bakuna, so inaasaan po natin na uh, uh, sa lalo mabilis na mga noon ay eh, mauubos po natin yung 400,000 yan. Pahabol ni Joseph, yung 1 million daw po din, uh, kasama rin po doon, uh, Secretary? Opo, kasama pa rin po yan kasi 1.7 uh, million po ang health workers natin. No? So hanggang hindi pa natatapos yung 1.7 million, no? um, sila pa rin po ang priority. No? Pero antayin po natin ang sasabihin ng NITAG uh, kasi baka naman po pag dumating na yung 1 million na pinili natin, Eh, may plano po talaga na isabay na yung mga economic frontliners na po pwedeng kumuha ng uh, uh, Sinovac. Pero sa ngayon po, talagang uh, health workers pa rin po. No? Nang sa gayon, lahat po ng health workers ay magkaroon ng opsyon na magkaroon na ng bakuna na Sinovac. Kung sakali po, uh, Senator, uh, saan daw po ahuhuguti uh, ng budget para sa ayuda at paano ang magiging distribution nito? Uh, dadaan din po ba ito daw sa D, uh, DSWD? Sa ilalim po ng Republic Act 11494 or Bayanihan to Recover as One Act, uh, meron po authority ang Pangulo to adapt uh, various temporary emergency uh, measures to respond to the crisis brought by the COVID-19. Uh, meron na pong uh, na-certify ang Bureau of the Treasury dati, total of 155.96 billion na pwedeng gamitin, of which uh, 122, ito po yung na-utilize na so ibig sabihin po ay meron pong uh, meron silang natitira meron pang naiwang 33 billion out of which 10 billion po ay allocated for the implementation of government uh, financial institution unified initiative ito po yung guide bill meaning meron pa po silang nakitang about 23 billion na pwedeng pagkulan po ng pondo for the new uh, social amelioration program i think ang recommendation nila ay in kind po nito no yung uh, pagkain po at uh, uh, may dalawang option po ang ating uh, pangulo at napag-usapan na po nila sa IATF ng ayuda ibibigay po 
directly sa LGUs, ito po yung individual or pwede naman pong sa DSWDs. Antayin na lang po natin kung ano pong magiging desisyon ng ating mahal na Pangulo. Ang importante po dito ay may maibigay po na ayuda, may maibigay na tulong po. Lalong-lalo na po sa mga mahihirap nating mga kababayan na talaga pong naghihirap po dahil dito sa COVID-19 na ito.